In 2003, the Supreme Court ruled in the case of Lawrence v. Texas that America's anti-sodomy laws were unconstitutional. And ever since then, and even a bit before then, we've been hearing conservatives indignantly scoff that there's no right to sodomy in the Constitution. As a matter of fact, that was precisely the argument used back in the 1980s by Justice Byron White in the case of Bowers v. Hardwick, which was a case that upheld the constitutionality of anti-sodomy laws. And in a sense, a very stupid sense, he is correct. Sodomy is not specifically listed anywhere in the Bill of Rights. But that doesn't mean that sodomy does not fall under the umbrella of rights that are in fact protected. In fact, that's the whole point of the Ninth Amendment. And conservatives usually claim to adhere to a judicial philosophy called strict constructionism, which is a philosophy that claims to hold most strictly to what the Constitution says. And most strict constructionists actually believe that the Ninth Amendment has no practical implications. However, the whole reason that the Ninth Amendment was added was because some of the authors of the Bill of Rights, particularly James Madison, feared that enumerating specific rights would lead to idiots like Byron White making precisely the argument he did. Madison argued that it has been objected also against the Bill of Rights that by enumerating particular exceptions to the grant of power, it would disparage those rights which were not placed in that enumeration and it might follow by implication that these rights, which were not singled out, were intended to be assigned into the hands of the general government and were consequently insecure. And of course it's profoundly ironic that strict constructionists, those who claim to hold most strictly to the Constitution, are the ones telling us that an entire amendment should be completely ignored. So you may ask, how is it that you figure that sodomy is protected? Surely the Ninth Amendment doesn't allow you to just make up rights out of thin air? And that's true, but you can reasonably assert that there are rights implied by the penumbras and emanations of the enumerated rights. In Lawrence v. Texas, the Supreme Court ruled that anti-sodomy laws violated the Due Process Clause of the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments that guarantee a right to liberty. Sodomy is not specifically mentioned, but if you live in a country where the government can come into your bedroom and tell you what kind of sex you can and can't have, I think any sane person can recognize that that is not a country that has liberty. And the Supreme Court had already ruled that private consensual sexual acts are protected by the Liberty Clause in Griswold v. Connecticut and Eisenstadt v. Baird. In the dissenting opinion in Bowers v. Hardwick, it says that individual decisions by married persons concerning the intimacies of their physical relationship even when not intended to produce offspring are a form of liberty protected by the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. Moreover, this protection extends to intimate choices by unmarried as well as married persons. Moreover, they wrote that this case is no more about a fundamental right to engage in sodomy, as the court purports to declare, than Stanley v. Georgia was about a fundamental right to watch obscene movies, or Cats v. United States was about a fundamental right to place interstate bets from a telephone booth. Rather, this case is about the most comprehensive of rights, and the right most valued by civilized men namely the right to be let alone. And it's funny how conservatives claim to love liberty so much, but they are for some reason in favor of the government being able to get itself involved in the most intimate realm of your personal life. When Michael Bloomberg tried to place a limit on the amount of soda pop that you could buy, conservatives completely lost their shit. But arresting people for having the wrong kind of sex, well of course that is a legitimate use of state power. So is there a right to sodomy? Maybe there's not a specifically mentioned right to sodomy, but there is a right to liberty. And if you think that you're in a free country where cops can come into your bedroom and arrest you and your consenting partner because you're having sex the wrong way, then you have one twisted view of liberty, my friend.